CBS 17 was there back in August when Ronnie Long took his first steps of freedom. He spent 44 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. New tonight, while his fight for freedom is over, he says he's now fighting to survive. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live tonight. Nick, you spoke with Long, and he says his family is having a difficult time right now. That's right, Mari. It's a very, very difficult time. Ronnie Long lives in Durham. He's in his mid-60s. He told me that he's having a hard time finding work. But the one thing he wants is a pardon from Governor Cooper so he can get compensated for the decades he spent behind bars. It's been a few months since Ronnie Long was released from prison. Now living in Durham, Ronnie says he faces another hurdle after fighting more than four decades to be free. I'm struggling harder now than I was when I was behind the fence. At least behind the fence, I knew where my three meals were coming from. I said, man, me and my family surviving on donations. The hurdle? getting pardoned by Governor Rory Cooper. If I'm not pardoned, man, I can't get nothing. In North Carolina, a person who gets a pardon of innocence is eligible for $50,000 each year they were in prison, but a max of $750,000 total from the state. And he won't free people. He'll pardon turkeys, but he won't pardon actual people. Muffin Hudson is just one of many who represent organizations sitting outside the governor's mansion demanding the governor uses his pardon powers and gives clemency to people who are incarcerated during the pandemic. It's a 58-day vigil from sunup to sundown. They have been doing it for more than two weeks. Governor Cooper was the AG. He didn't free Ronnie Long. And when he was the governor, he didn't free Ronnie Long. So now you have the power to rectify some of the mistakes that you made. All I'm asking you to do is put yourself in my position, man. And you guys, Ronnie Long also told me that this has been a stressful time for him and his family, but he says that he's going to continue to fight to get that pardon from Governor Cooper. Live tonight in Raleigh, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News.